What's up everybody, welcome to my channel, I am MR Morrison. In this video today, we're going to be troubleshooting some of the reasons as to why you can't connect to your SQL Server database instance. Troubleshooting is an integral part of database administration and from time to time you have to be able to troubleshoot and resolve those issues. So on my laptop which I'll be using as a server, the first thing I'll be trying to do is connect to my server. And when you can connect, I'll be going over some of the steps that you need to troubleshoot to connect to your database instance. So from your management studio, which will connect and select connect database. So the name of my server is MRJM, right? Let me copy this. So I'm going to attempt to connect. And I got the hero. A network or instance specific error occurred while establishing connection to the SQL server. The server was not found or is not accessible. So the first step here is that you're going to do a TNS ping to the server name to ensure that the server is up and running and there's a network connection. So launch a command prompt. So I'm going to bring up CMD and I'm going to ping my host name which is MRJM. So I got a reply from my laptop, which means that the server is up and running. So within your organization, your server won't necessarily be your laptop. So it would be the host name of the SQL server. So you should follow the same procedure. So this will confirm that my server is up and running. So the next thing I need to check now is if my SQL server instance is running. There are several ways which you can do this. The first one is through Windows services. So I'm going to go to my start menu and search for our services. And then in the list of service, I'm going to search for a SQL server. So this is my SQL server instance, right? It is a default instance. So it has the name MS SQL server. So I could start it from here. However, I'm going to show you the other option, which you can use to check. So launch your SQL configuration manager. Once your configuration manager is launched, you'll see that the SQL Server Instance Manager is running. So now let's select Start to start the instance. So now let's try and connect again and we are now able to successfully connect to the database. So guys, another reason that could prevent you from connecting to your SQL Server is because the firewall on the server is not configured to allow incoming connections to the SQL Server port. Because I am running on a local host, I won't experience this challenge. However, I am going to show you how you can allow the port for a SQL Server on the firewall. So first you want to launch your firewall, right? And for your inbound rules to the server, you want to create a new rule. So I'm going to select port, right? Select next. For the rule type, it's TCP. And I'm going to specify the specific port. So I'm going to use 1433. Now this is the default port for a SQL server. And if this rule is not allowed on your server, 99% of the times, this is one of the reasons why you're not able to connect to your SQL server. So I'm going to select next. So I'm going to allow the connection, then select next. So you could apply it for a domain. This will strengthen your security so that only when the computer is connected to the domain, you can access the remote server. So this is a great option, right? So you could also apply it for private network as well as public network. So in most cases, you don't want to do a public network. But because this is a test, right? I'm going to select next. I'm going to give it a name as SQL port and then select finish. So that should take care of your port challenges when you're connecting to SQL Server. So guys, if you're a junior DBA and you're looking for some SQL Server training, I have a complete course on Udemy for beginners and intermediate. You can check it out. The link will be in the description of this video. 